You recognize him from his roles on the hit television show Living Single and the Hughleys. An appearance on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson jump-started his career. Now he's bringing his comedy to Detroit. John Henson joins us now ahead of his show at Burt's Comedy Warehouse. Uh, thanks so much for being with us, John. Hey, thanks for having me. Our pleasure. Let's go back to 1991 when you did your bit on Carson. Obviously, that's the gold standard of a, a launching a stand-up comedy career. I did comedy a little bit myself back in the day, and I dreamed of either meeting Johnny Carson, performing for him, or replacing him one day. How did that change your career? Oh, uh, that totally changed my career because it was um, my first national TV spot, and um, I got a chance to... Um, uh, after I finished my set, Mr. Carson invited me over to the couch, oh. which is like the biggest, biggest thing that could happen for a, a comic. So when he invited me over to the couch uh, and I got a chance to sit down and talk to him and he asked me if I had an agent and I told him I didn't. And he said, well, I guarantee you'll have one tomorrow. And he invited me to his office the next day, two typewritten pages of uh, agents and managers that wanted to meet with me because Mr. Carson said I was funny. I mean, I'm literally speechless. I mean, I was going to ask you, did he invite you over? Because, yeah, that's, that's like being, you know, knighted. It's like being crowned. Uh, yes. Living Single was a popular show with you, Queen Latifah, Kim Fields, of course, and Kim Cole. Uh, do you still t uh, stay in touch with the gang? Oh, yeah, we, we keep in touch all the time. It's like that was, um, they, they're like family. I mean, we, we, we keep in touch. I mean, we did like five years, and we were, we were much more than a, uh, uh, just just castmates. We, we were friends. We traveled around together. Um, it's just that's my family. I love them all. Well, of course, you've been doing stand up for decades. Uh, do you find it hard or easy to continue to write new material? After this pandemic, it's been easy. Um, it's, it's so many things happen because, well, for me, it was it was so good because uh, we, I couldn't work for a while. You know, everything was shut down. And um, when you when you get away from it, you, you miss it. And so I, I really appreciate just being back on the road now. So you try to write as much uh, as much new material as you can about your, your experiences, of, you know, being away from it. Of course, uh, I've talked to a lot of comedians who have been on TV shows and in movies, and they always say that, you know, going, going up on stage and doing stand-up is the best. Uh, a lot of people make their name, like, like Seinfeld, you know, did a TV show and then returned to the stage and started cranking out new material. Why is being on stage the best? Why does Jay Leno keep performing? Uh, because it's the um, just just the fact that you can go out like you can do you can do a TV show or you can do films or anything like that. But when you uh, when you have the the live audience, you get that instant reaction, and that's what we're looking for. You know, it's like we want to know right then and there if this joke is going to work. You know, so we throw it out there and we uh, and we just uh, we hope for the best. You know. All right, real quick, let's return to the Carson moment uh, when he motioned for you to come over. And you, you met him you know, next day and he gave you a list of agents and whatnot. You must have been on cloud nine. If you could pick a word to describe how you felt uh, in that 18 hour period, what would it be? Um, surreal. <laughs> uh, it was it, it, it was just like, uh, I can't believe that this is happening. I, I, I went home that night and I watched myself on TV and I'm like, that that actually happened. I didn't believe it until I saw it. It, it, was, it was so weird because it's like, all right, yeah, that that did just happen. Like my mom and dad, they were calling me from Cleveland because I was out in L.A. And my mom and dad were calling me from Cleveland saying, oh, you did a great job. And I'm like, well, until I see it, you know, I, right. I just didn't believe. It. So yeah. that's cool. Well, the show is February 11th. Well, the shows February 11th, 12th yeah. and 13th. Where can people get right. tickets real quick? Uh, we, we at um, um, at, the, at the box office. Um, um, you can go. I, I don't have all of the information because it is new. Uh, but uh, call down to the box office at the warehouse and tell them uh, you want to come see uh, John Hinton at, at Burt's. And um, we're gonna be down there. I'm down with Mike Bonner. Foolish. It's a whole bunch of people, so it's, it's gonna be fun. Mike Bonner often appears on this very television program. He's a friend of mine, so that's gonna be Mike a great P. show. That's my friend. I, I, I love work, so I'm working with my people, so I'm good. It's good to be back in the D. All right, so good to talk to you. Can't wait for the show. Oh, thanks so much.